Hi everyone, I'm Justin and welcome to another chapter in Road Choice Clutch Technical Training. This program covers clutch assemblies and will provide a good overview of clutch functions, components, and types. We'll also talk about clutch specs and how they affect torque capacity. As you know, a clutch is basically a clamp that engages and disengages the torque transfer from the engine flywheel to the drivetrain. Let's look at the three main clutch functions. The first function is to maintain the torque path from the engine to the drivetrain when you want to move the vehicle. When you want the vehicle to stop moving or when you want to change gears, the clutch interrupts the torque path. The clutch also acts as an isolator for the drivetrain and protects it from damaging vibrations caused by the engine. Now let's look at the major components. The cover and pressure plate assembly applies and removes pressure and clamping force to the clutch disc. The clutch disc transmits torque through its friction material and isolates vibrations caused by engine through dampening springs. The center plate is found on multi-disc clutches only and the center plate adds a friction surface for multiple discs. The two types of clutches are pull type and push type. The difference is in how they release and what they use to apply clamping force. When a driver presses the clutch pedal, the linkage system releases the clutch in one of two ways, either pulling the release bearing, pull type, or pushing the release bearing, push type. One big difference is that the pull type clutches have a fixed release bearing and the push type do not. Pull and push type clutches also differ in how they apply clamping force. Pull types use angle springs and levers or a diaphragm spring, while push types use an angle ring or a diaphragm spring. Finally, let's talk about clutch specs. Clutches are rated by torque capacity, which is calculated using plate load, friction type, number of discs, and the diameter of the clutch disc. Changing any of these attributes will increase or decrease the clutch's torque capacity. Here's a quick explanation of each attribute. Plate load in pounds is the amount of pressure applied to the clutch disc by the cover and the pressure plate assembly. Friction type refers to the material on the clutch discs. The most common materials are organic and ceramic. Number of discs. Clutches are typically either single or dual disc. And finally, diameter in inches or millimeters refers to the size of the clutch disc. By getting comfortable with this information, you'll have a good sense of clutch function, types, and specification language, and it'll serve you well every time you prepare to install a clutch. Well, that's it for this chapter. I hope you'll explore the other chapters in this clutch technical training series to make sure that your clutch knowledge is up to date. You'll find all the parts information you need at roadchoice.com, and you can always contact us directly with questions about what you've learned here. This is Justin for Road Choice Truck Parts, and I'll see you next time.